Hey guys, we're gonna look at the transactions for bookkeeping, QuickBooks Online, bank feeds. Okay, so we're in QuickBooks Online Sample Company. You can connect to your bank account through just searching your credit card companies, your bank accounts, your credit unions. Um, you know, for example, if you, you banked with Frost, you'd search Frost to be able to pair that up, blah, 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 get in there and all that. Okay. Once we have established the bank feeds, um, in theory, every night it downloads into QuickBooks. Um, some banks will push information over every 24 hours. Some banks are real time, um, meaning that when you hit this update uh, button here, you're going to have the ability to sync and bring in the latest transactions. So my recommendation when you're doing bookkeeping and QuickBooks Online, first thing you do, get to the bank feeds by clicking transactions, bank transactions. And just take a moment to see the status right here. It should say updated you know, moments ago. If it broke, um, then you're, you're gonna need to update here and possibly be presented with inputting your bank credentials to get it restored. Um, things that will make a break, break will be um, change a password. If the credit card company gives you a new credit card, that will automatically break the break it break the feeds um, nicknaming a bank account you know you might go online and nickname your bank account that will break as well and so we, we got to be mindful of to restore the connection uh, from these scenarios here so there is um, opportunity then once you're connected then really three things will happen in a bank feed you're gonna get presented with the ability to add to your ledger. The transaction doesn't exist. For example, here I'm on the credit card. I see the date, August 28th. I see the bank detail. Now every bank's a little different as far as what information they'll bring into QuickBooks Online, but you're gonna see that. And then of course you're gonna be presented with the dollar amount. So back to the three things, you're gonna either add to your ledger, which means that it was not there before, but when you click add, it will go there. Alternatively, um, you can match. That means the account already exists in the, in the record and you can match to it. And third, sometimes if you've already got it and you don't need to add it or match it, you can exclude it by clicking on exclude and then, then it will not go into your books. And that, that's assuming you've already perhaps reconciled it or it's in a prior historical period, you don't just need, need it, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and let me do a few of these with you here. All right, so you click around, you know, you can see what you're dealing with here. QuickBooks will kind of give you some matching capabilities here or not. I'm going to jump with uh, jump on the first one I see here. So Hicks Hardware, I would select the vendor. I would click the drop down. This is going to be paired to your chart of accounts. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and just do some kind of maybe a repair maintenance. Expense, I don't need it to tie to a project, but I could make it billable. If I've got a plus or advance, I could actually save that mem transaction for later and roll it into an invoice with potentially a markup or not. But in the case, I just wanna add it. Hicks hardware, maintenance repair. I could uh, do some attachments on it, create some rules. But for now, just keep it simple and click add. Okay, so let me do a few more here. So. Jump to the MasterCard here. All right, this looks like a one-off expense, Laura's Lamentation for business cards. I'll go ahead and just do a little advertising here and add, okay. So let's talk about matching. If a transaction already exists, like there is, um, $114.09 here from apparently this bill payment. Well, let me go into the register 
Barry, let me go to PG&E vendor. So I'm going to go to expenses, vendors, and just type PG. There it is. Here we go. I look. I see edit. Ability to add my notes. I can see in the upper right hand corner their balance is 86.44. Okay. Um, a little interesting that there's a balance of 86.44 from a bill that was before the most current one, July July 18. But nevertheless, here's the bill. Somebody's already put in, has already marked it paid. And I can see that whoever marked it paid, marked it paid from the checking account. Here it is. Okay, so that is ready to match. But before we do that, I'm going to go into the chart of accounts. Show you what that transaction looks like before the match. So checking, view register. Okay, notice over on the right, we've got some transactions with a C on it. That means cleared. And there's a green icon, meaning that it came in from the bank feeds, whether it was added or matched. Anything that doesn't have a green means there's been no touching of the bank feeds to match or add to it. So um, let me sort by payments to find it a little bit easier. I'm looking for 114. Here we go. Here we go, right here. So right here, nothing, right? Let's go match it and come back. Back to transactions. And that is definitely it. Match. Okay. You can see that I'm down to just four transactions here. None on the savings, none on the MasterCard. I'm going to jump to... I use this button a lot. Go to bank register to quickly get into it. And we're looking for 114.09. I can also come like this and type 104.09. There we go. And we can see that it is cleared. Tentatively reconciled, meaning that when I go into reconcile August, all of my debits and credits that have been matched or added from the bank feeds are going to pre-populate in a, in a reconcile tool there. So it really helps speed up your workflow when you can confirm that the transaction in your register matches the bank transaction as it downloads. Yep. So while I'm in the register, um, I can do some troubleshooting if I'm looking for something that is a particular type of transaction. I could look for all my bill payments, for example. And here's all my bill payments. Sometimes I like to see, hey, show me all the ones with no status. And what will happen over here is then I've got nothing here. And these are all transactions that haven't yet been matched or added from the bank feeds. There's nothing there. So that requires some troubleshooting. You know, in an ideal world, that's just the ones that are still waiting to be matched in the bank feeds coming out. But if they're a long time ago, then there's a problem, right? And the other thing is I like to do not reconciled as well. That shows everything. And sometimes I'll sort oldest to newest and I start looking at what what is going on here. And I, I look for, you know, anything that's not reconciled in the last two or three months that we've got a problem. We got to figure out well, what happened. Did, for example, Robertson and Associates just not cash that check right, for 300 bucks? I would need to verify that. Or maybe we just have a mistake in our books and it did get reconciled, but we have a duplicate or something like that. So keep that in mind as well. Okay. Um, that was a lot, I know, uh, but we're still not done. The final piece of information is the Reconcile tool. The Reconcile tool is also available under Gear Reconcile, usually how I get there. Um, notice 
we are on the bank transactions you can just hop over to reconcile as well and if you've been reconciling you'll see the last time it was reconciled you have history by account if you ever wanted to run a report you can view the report to see when it is so basically you do this 12 times a year every time you get a bank statement you reconcile to that account okay so if i was going in to try to reconcile let's say the mastercard i would get the balance from my statement i would type in the the dollar amount i'm gonna make something up here 252.63 and let's imagine it was the 15th okay then i hit okay or start reconciling now notice all these green ones have are automatically checked so there's just a timing difference of let's imagine that before you connect to bank feeds you've got the old stuff that were hand coded in there you want to start reconciling those so we're just clearing these off the list any basically anything that's on the statement is check is being checked right here okay yeah right so um obviously we can't reconcile with this type of a balance right here uh because we are off 771 dollars okay so that's either that either means we're missing information we'd have to go back do some more work i could have messed up typing the balance as well um, or i could have fudged the date maybe it wasn't the 15th maybe it was really the uh, 22nd you know so something like that might give us some more uh, we're getting closer here's a 900 dollars payment here okay so hey all right now I'm going to cheat a little bit and just say, hey, you know what, the ending balance, I just mist mistyped. It was really 123.72. I'll go in here, type 123.72, starting balance, zero beginning, ending, boom, boom, boom. Voila. Now, what's really cool is QuickBooks is actually starting to, based on your bank, like if you have a Chase credit card and it's a lot of other big banks, will start to look at the statement. It downloads the statement. It actually will pre-code the ending balance and pre-code for you the date. So be, be on the lookout for that as you, you might think to yourself, what is going on? It, somebody typed something in there. No, it's the, it's the computer doing it for you. So you always double check to verify that the balance here is correct. And um, when you are at a difference of zero, and there's nothing not checked that doesn't belong. No duplicates. You look at the bank statement and you can prove out there's 15 charges for this amount here. There's one payment for it here. Then yeah, you are good to go. You are ready to click finish now. This is going to create the history um, where you can run a report and the last thing i'll show you is you go to reports type reconcile you can do, run a reconciliation report and here's what it looks like it shows you what was reconciled what was all that okay all righty so now i will see a bunch of bars right Everything that you just watched me reconcile is now an R. And we've got, let's see what's not reconciled. We've got these transactions. So those should then be reconciled when the next month statement comes out that will flow through to the next period as well. Okay. All right. Hey guys, th thank you for watching. I know it's a long video here, but I hope that was helpful because um, a lot of time spent in QuickBooks is just managing the bank feeds. And again, transactions, link your accounts here, search what you want. If you have an American Express, you would search there, put in your credentials, link it to the card that you have, and then start, start having fun with it. <laughs> Y'all take care. Bye.